Hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Shorts. Planet Spaceball is the home of the Spaceballs. It has lost all of its precious air. President Scroob reigns from Spaceball City. In Spaceballs the Animated Series, Planet Spaceball is referred to as Planet Moron, like in the early drafts of Spaceballs. Planet Spaceball is a dull, barren planet from what we can see of it. It appears quite similar to the moon. The terrain is gray and dusty, and the sky above is not colored like Earth's or planet Geridia. All that is visible in the sky is the blackness of the surrounding space and the stars scattering throughout. Not much is known about society or life on planet Spaceball, although during the events of the movie it must have been a terrible place to live, considering that the Spaceballs have somehow squandered their atmosphere, causing a massive air shortage. Citizens are reliant on a product called Perrier to survive because of the lack of air. Despite this, President Scroob denies an air shortage happening, dismissing it to a concerned phone caller as a rumor, even though he does indeed know about the problem. The Spaceballs also have a vast military which seems to be led by Dark Helmet. In addition to the President, the army is referred to as the Ping Pongs and consists of two separate groups. One wears white outfits and helmets, and the other wears black outfits and helmets. These soldiers are equipped with guns and seem to be more of a militaristic group than the white outfit ping pongs. Higher ranking space balls such as Sanders and squad leaders wear gray uniforms with matching gray caps, as well as black gloves. An example of a higher ranking space ball is Colonel Sanders. The fate of planet space ball after the movie is unknown. Since the Spaceballs failed in their plan to steal Druidia's air, the planet likely lost what was left of its air supply altogether. At the same token, it may be likely that the Spaceballs continue buying Perrier from Druidia and thus survives.